Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to learn about group and ungroup in Roblox. Here in front of me I have a set of stairs on the left and a set of stairs on the right and a wall. And now if you look inside my workspace it looks kind of messy. I have a bunch of parts in there which I have no idea which one is which. So today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use group and ungroup to organize the parts in our workspace to keep them neat. In this case, I'm just going to select all these steps here on the left and I'm going to group them. I'm going to right click and select group to group them. And the system automatically combine all those parts into a model for me. I can rename this part. Let's call it staircase one. And then I can do the same for staircase number two. So I'm going to select all these parts. And if you like, you can also go to your home menu tab and there's a group button here. You can click on that. And now I'm going to rename this to staircase number two. So now my workspace looks much cleaner. I have staircase number one staircase number two and I have a part here if I like I can rename this to ball take another look at it before we had a bunch of parts in the workspace we had no idea what they were and now if you look inside your workspace you see staircase number one staircase number two and you have a ball so we know exactly what they are and if I like say if I want to move staircase number one to a different location I can just select it and I can move the whole thing moves together as one part and again when you group the parts together the system combines them into a model for you so now staircase number one is a model if you click on it and look at the properties window you can you're gonna see that it says properties model as opposed to if you click on the wall it says properties part so the ball is a part but the staircase number one is a model and staircase number two is a model each one of those contains a bunch of parts if you like you can remove parts from these models for example let me go to staircase number two and say if i don't like this top step here i can just delete it and now it's gone. So now my staircase number two model has one less step. You can add things to your model. For example, let's say if I say, let's say if I want the ball to be part of the staircase number one model, right? So I can just move the ball and put it inside that model. So now my model staircase number one contains the staircase itself and the wall and if I go and move my staircase number one the wall is gonna move with it you see the whole thing is together now and if you made a mistake or if you like to make changes you can always go to the models and ungroup them by doing a right click and select ungroup I'm going to ungroup the staircase number one and staircase number two. So now all the parts are back inside my workspace. And if you want, you can group them again. So now I'm going to select everything inside my workspace. Maybe except for the base plate. So I got all the parts, the wall and all the parts from both staircases. I have them all selected and I'm going to group them all into one group. Maybe I'll call this model parts. So now I have a model part, which is a model and it contains the ball 
and all the, the different parts that makes up the two staircases. And if you look inside my workspace now, all you see is the model parts model and the spawn location, which is here, and the base plate, which is the floor. One last thing I'd like to show you today is to how to reference to those parts inside those models. So we're going to go to the service script service and we're going to add a script. We're going to declare a local variable, local, and just call it part equals to game dot workspace dot model parts. So don't forget to always include the model, the name of the model, and then dot, let's, let's say we want to change the ball. So I can change this to ball instead of parts to be more specific. And now if I want to change the color of my ball, I'm just going to say ball dot brick color equals to brick color dot Let's give it a random color. And I'm going to insert a weight in here. So I'm just going to wait for 10 seconds. All right, now we can play to test. So initially, our ball is red. And let's see what color it changes to. I hope it's not red because then we won't see the change. And there it is, it changed to dark green. All right, so that's our lesson on group and ungroup in Roblox. And if you are looking for some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, I would recommend going to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel, click on the playlist, and go to our PriceCP Roblox extreme short series. In this series, you find that the lessons are taught at a quicker pace. So it's probably not the best for new beginners, but for beginners with some experience in building like yourself, it's probably perfect for you. So give it a try, check it out. And until next time, happy coding.